Okay. What is AI? I mean, there, so there's a lot of misconceptions about what AI is, um, and there's a lot of unknowns regarding it. But AI is like a, this really broad term that encompasses a lot of things. Um, in general, it just refers to machines or, or systems that perform tasks typically requiring human intelligence. They're trying to, to mimic you know, what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but there, there's lots of different examples. You know, uh, A big piece of AI right now is just understanding human language. Um, if, if a machine can't understand a human language, it's very difficult to, to mimic human intelligence, right? Um, but it's also, you know, recognizing images or patterns, facial, facial recognition. And another good um, example of this are, are doctors using AI to read, you know, x-rays or MRI scans and be able to pick out the subtle differences that it's very difficult sometimes for humans to do. And they're doing this much more accurately now, a lot of times even better than, than, than humans are able to. Um, but being able to make decisions, this is where it gets a little scary, you know, when they're making, when AI is making decisions that normally we want humans to be able to make, like self-driving cars, um, and, and some of these more life or death situations, you know, it, it, it's getting very scary, but as, as the tools get better, hopefully our comfort level with this gets better, but um, AI learns from the data, um, you know, the more data you feed it, the more instances of, of, of that training data it has to know what the right decision is, to know the right direction that it needs to take. And then now we've got this new form of AI that we haven't had before. We've, you know, within the last three years, we've got this generative AI. So it's generating new content. Um, from all of this historical training data that has been fed on, um, you know, billions and billions and billions of pieces of data. Um, and it's able to generate text, it's generate images, videos, songs. You know, I've been able to make music out of this. You know, it, it's pretty amazing what, what it's able to generate. Um, but it isn't magic, you know, this is just based on algorithms, math, data, and lots and lots of computational power. Um, it, the, the amount of power it takes to power these things is sometimes you know, mind-boggling. If you, if you add up the data centers in the US that are doing AI, they're using more power than a lot of countries do combined. So, so the power that's, that's needed to, to train these things is just enormous. Um, I think they're making some strides in that to uh, to reduce the the complexity and 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 how efficient these things are, but still still takes a lot of that. And AI is not conscious, so it's not really thinking. It's not really reasoning. It's very complicated, you know, pattern recognition, very complicated predictions. You know, it's it's trying to predict the next thing based on what has previously been, been said, the next letter in a sentence, the next word in a sentence, so on and so forth. Um, and it's definitely not perfect. It will make mistakes um, and reflect the bias in this training data. Uh, you know, when, when it's telling you something that's not correct, that's called a hallucination in, in AI terms. And it can happen quite often. So you do need to you know, check the work check the output of, of these AI systems. But it's also not one thing. Everybody thinks it's chat GPT. It's this generative thing. But there's many different techniques going in here. These are based on machine learning principles, um, these really complicated neural networks. Um, and then onto natural language processing is another component, computer vision, you know, all into one to, to get you from a question that you ask it in ChatGPT to an answer.